Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out Walkthrough Part 2 on Level 10, the Bus Depot for The Last of Us. We're getting really close. We're going to have a couple items along the way. And as you can see here, we are picking up right where we left off. And uh, as we cross through onto the other side of the bus, it actually brings us to the underground tunnel. So we have opened up the new area. And first things first, before advancing anywhere, feel free to take a look around. I doubt you'll find anything, as we didn't find anything. But depending on your level of difficulty, it may yield some goodies. But before making it down into the tunnel, make sure you... Uh, Double back behind the bus on the left and pick up Firefly Pendant number 29. Uh, once you got that good to go, you can go ahead and advance into the tunnel. Now, real quick, I want to make note, just in case you're just tuning into these walkthroughs, we do have fast forward item quick links down below. So if you want to find a specific artifact or a shiv door or something that's throughout this level and you don't want to watch it all or try to scan through, simply go down into the video description and click the button that uh, represents the item you're looking for. And it'll take you right uh, to the timeline right before the item and show you right where it is. And yeah, buddy. So... Uh, we are playing this on the hard difficulty, so depending on what level you were playing on, as just mentioned, you might find some goodies uh, somewhere else, or there may be more, or there may be less, depending on, you know, if you're playing on, like, a New Game Plus or whatnot, so, uh, yeah, so here we are in the tunnel, there's going to be a lot of destruction and uh, fighting. There's roughly, I would say, probably 15 to 20 runners and probably 5 bloaters and probably 10 clickers between the beginning of the tunnel and the end of the tunnel. Now, on my third and fourth playthrough, which was long after this video was recorded, um, I did find a few extra tricks, so I will maybe make note of those verbally as we're watching me do a little different on the screen here. So... As always, when there's multiple guys in an area, I highly suggest trying to clump them together by using bricks and bottles uh, or even arrows because uh, the arrows will then, uh, you know, even distract them too and you can get them all in a big pile. And uh, the glory is about a Maltob is that even when the bottle hits, it actually shatters and at that point, uh, the baddies will run after it because they're trying to investigate that sound. So, uh, throw one bottle and then if they're not all together, you can throw that Maltov down below if you have one. And hopefully, uh, the baddies will investigate that sound and go uh, stand on the old burning coals there. Alright, so uh, clean up the rest of the guys. As you can see, we probably could have done a little better job of uh, clumping them all together. But we are uh, not Professor Clump, so we failed at that. We're going to go ahead and make sure that, uh, and we recommend you as well, to check out all the dead bodies around and make sure that any items they have left behind, uh, that you could utilize them and pick them up. Yay, look at me. Da -da 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 -da. First trophy. Yeah, yeah, let's gear up. So what that trophy was right there was for uh, crafting one of each item. Um, I had made it this far, and uh, HTG Doug and I were on the phone talking, and he was telling me, well, the only trophy I got so far is that stupid let's craft or let's gear up the crafting one. And I told him, I hadn't even got that yet. I got hosed on that. And I was all pissed because I thought it screwed me. But turns out I just hadn't made a shiv board yet. So uh, I made a shiv board right there. And booyaka shao. I got the trophy. So pretty simple one. And you got to figure that I probably played roughly 12 to 14 hours at this point to get here at least. I don't remember. I'm just guessing. But, uh, and I'm also trying to talk over that horrible edit that I'm ignoring back there just about 10 seconds ago. But, uh, yeah, so essentially, um, as you can see, we're just flapping, trying to make our way through here, killing everybody in sight. Um, coming up soon, there is a little uh, side entrance on the right here, and it is actually very helpful um, if you don't attack them or use any kind of special weapons on them, if you actually just walk up and snap their necks. Um, we'll get to that in a second, though. Meanwhile, we're just kneeing dudes in the face, rearranging some teeth for them. Who needs a visit to the dentist when Joel can just uh, give him a little shout-out real quick with his knee? All right, so here's the spot I was talking about. As you watch me here, I craft a few items, and then I uh, try to use a nail bomb or two to take these guys out. The best practice here is to save your ammunition. Reason is, is I actually had to come back and replay this area... Uh, because I did not have enough items to craft a shiv in the next area. 
And the reason was is I made two nail bombs right there. So uh, depending on the difficulty you're playing on, if you're playing on hard, I highly recommend that you don't make those two nail bombs or if, you know whatever else, that you save and make sure that you have at least one more shiv because you will need it and you will need a full shiv to pop that door open. The problem was I had a two of three, you know, the little two little bars of the three bars possible for the shiv. And uh, it wasn't a full shiv, so I was not able to make it. So it sucks. All right. Quick note, too. Right on top of this uh, horse stamped trailer, there is a training manual. We'll get to that in a minute. As you can see, I'm tossing out a couple of Molotovs. And uh, burn, baby, burn. Disco bloaters. Look at them dancing around over there. I wish I had my... Uh, Wish I was using the focus right there because you can kind of see him almost doing like, there we go, doing the robot with the little glow around him. All right, so chances are you're not going to get all of those guys with one or two Molotovs. If you're lucky, you did and you succeeded and you don't have to worry about that. If you didn't, um, we found that it's very, very helpful to kind of run around in circles. You don't want to take on more than one or two guys at a time. One or two guys. Um, you want to try to weed out all of the runners and then fight the bloaters separately. But it's hard because those bloaters are throwing those big old cum bubbles at you. So watch out for those and uh, use all your firepower you have to go ahead and take them down. Now, at this point, uh, I have uh, cleared out the area and everything is legit. So we'll go ahead and we'll check out that training manual that I promised you. Booyah kashow. Uh, first, I thought it was on this one. I was wrong. It's actually the truck over to the left there. So we'll drop down and go grab that. And again, uh, you know, if, if you've already watched this far and, you know, you don't have a shiv in your inventory, you might consider restarting this encounter right now or restarting this level and going back. Um, so our nail, nail bomb upgrade has uh, successfully made our nail bombs that much more badass. And if you look there, that was actually the trophy for the training manual. So uh, if you've been following along in this full video, then you know what? You're getting pretty close. Hopefully you're not having uh, any problems with the glitches. And um, yeah, speaking of getting pretty close, we are over halfway through this level. Well, through this video, which is the second half of the level. So we're in the final quarter stretch, if you really do your math. And it uh, feels pretty good, I got to say. You know, this video is being recorded on the 4th of July, 2013. Happy 4th of July to all of those watching this today. And you know what? If it's uh, not the 4th of July anymore, which is probably a good chance too, then uh, happy late 4th of July to you from Happy Thumbs Gaming. Hopefully you didn't blow your hands off. And uh, hopefully you drank lots of beer, stayed hydrated, didn't get sunburnt. If you did, hopefully you got aloe, um, you know, maybe a pool. Hopefully your water isn't green with, you know, mutant fish swimming around in it. That would also be a beneficial factor for happiness. All right, so we get to a spot where the ducting, the venting on the left is not really uh, giving us anywhere to go. So what we do is we swim under the truck, and we pop up on the other side. And once we climb up top, we're going to go ahead and uh, run all the way down and get a comic book. And uh, we're going to do that before dropping the ladder just because, you know, we weren't sure what kind of a cutscene or what was going to happen. So all the way at the upper venting after you swim through the truck, go ahead and run all the way down on the high left and booyaka shao. So in my little note there, I put after dropping the ladder. I, I, I put that there because I wanted people to know that there isn't a cutscene or anything special. Uh, they don't have to follow me exactly. You could have dropped the ladder and while she was climbing her slow young ass up the ladder, you could have ran over there and grabbed it too. So either way, whatever works for you. Once you're done, go ahead and drop down and keep advancing. It's a little shallow on the right, so we will go ahead and call that out to Ellie because she can't swim for shit. And here we go. We come to a locked door. No more locked doors! Gracias. Um, but we find a way. So there's a way to lift Ellie up right here on the left. But we also see a clicker standing right there. So there's a hole in the fence. Feel free to use your weapon of choice through there. I think it's a little suspect that it took two El Diablos to the dome. Both of those were headshots. Rewind it and watch. Um, and it took two of those to put him down. I don't understand that. So uh, El Diablo to the dome should be El Diedo. Once you lift her up, she'll go ahead and pry the door open and let you through. Now, right off the bat, uh, make sure that you check the clicker because he might drop some ammo for you. There's a couple uh, crafting items potentially for you in here, as is there a workbench. Well, before going to the workbench, you're going to want to make sure that you uh, have a shiv here. Now, 
Earlier I said you want to have an extra shiv, but really I wasn't considering this one. So you want to make sure that you have two shivs. And uh, maybe now that uh, I'm seeing this, maybe I'll go back and make a little uh, textual note on the screen there. But this is definitely worth getting into. There's some uh, supplementage and some other crafting items in here. And no nothing pertinent to your trophy progress. I mean, other than the fact that the supplements, you know... So now that you're all done, you can head back, and uh, we'll go ahead and turbo through this. And to be completely honest with you, that is actually the end of all the collectibles. So if that's what you're here for, um, you can go ahead and skip on through to the next video. If you want to hang out or if you're stuck or whatever the case may be, you know, feel free to kick back. We're going to hang out and finish this level out for you. So once you get it all done and you've uh, busted in that shiv door, go ahead and crawl under the pipes and then hop over the air conditioning tank. And this is kind of a squirrely process. Essentially, you need to get up and out, but you can't because you just can't. The ladder is up high, and here in a minute it breaks, and it's kind of a weird, you know, series of events that just seems to prolong us getting the hell out of this building, which at this point, you know, the repetitiveness is probably not needed. I just want to get the hell to the hospital. So we'll swim through, we'll climb up. It actually gives us access to climb up to this other little area. And this may be the only part may be confusing for you, but uh, hopefully you figured this out on your own. You'll just walk along these vents and get up top. And then what we'll do is make it all the way to the end and, uh, well, you'll see. Slide on through. Nice little tight crevasse. If you watched our Tomb Raider series, you definitely know we have no problem sliding into tight crevasses. Oh, yeah. All right, so once you're up top, you can drop the pallet down. Now, we've played this game before. We know how this works. We swim, and we bring the pallet to Ellie. Look at that. I tried to jump, and that was the weirdest, most awkward fall in the history of Naughty Dog's animations, at least for me. What up, bro, Savelle? I see you up there. All right, so uh, once you get the pallet, get control of it. Walk it over, swim it over to Ellie. She'll hop on it. La, la, la. You know how this goes. I kind of wish you could tip her. Like, you see how it starts to almost dump her? You can't. No matter what you do, I tried. It would be really cool if you could dump Ellie in, and then she'd, like, you know, drown. Or maybe you can go swim and pick her up. Or I don't know. It would have been cool. It would have added a little bit of extra, like, you know, I guess ridiculousness. So, all right, here's the deal. Once you get her over there, she goes up and around and then actually drops the ladder down. That's great, right? Except for this ladder, apparently was uh, a Walmart ladder. It's definitely not a uh, true value ladder. And uh, this thing breaks on us. So we do the only thing we know how to, and that's uh, make a plank out of a ladder here in a second. So we'll go ahead and turn around, and we'll use this ladder on the wall right behind us. And drop it like it's hot. Place it. Come on. There we go. And go ahead and climb up to the top. Once you get up to the top, you're going to want to actually grab that ladder right away and then walk it over to the other side of the platform and then drop it down. And I'm sure you figured it out by now. Once you drop down, you'll go ahead and grab it one more time and then place it so that it's more of a walkway than a ladder for you. And then Ellie, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's just catching on right now. She's not necessarily the smartest tool and the, uh, well, I guess I said that wrong, huh? I guess I'm not the smartest tool. <laughs> wah, wah. All right, so listen, it's early. I just woke up, for those of you who don't know. Uh, I'm trying to keep it real and keep it funny, but, you know, I'm still wiping the crust out of my eyes, so I'll work on it for the next video, which, in theory, there should only be two more videos for the walkthrough, which is awesome. I'm also going to do an Ellie joke video, just kind of give you a tip. Uh, if you made it through, got all five jokes and didn't get it, I'm going to show you what I did to get the trophy, which was simply just play through again. So uh, on what would have been the sixth joke, I actually got that. So it was a repeat of joke number one, which I already had, and you guys have already seen it in the video. But uh, it, for some reason, didn't count the first time. Or I don't know, maybe you need to play through and get six jokes. I have no idea. But uh, it worked for me, so I'll do that video for you, and hopefully uh, that info will be uh, helpful to you. All right, once you make it all the way across, it is inevitable. No matter how hard and how fast you move, you cannot make it up to that platform. You fall down. This is a cinematic scene. 
that is you know driven by the player but it's still already scripted there's not a lot you can do no matter how hard you push and click and pull it eventually knocks you all the way to the back you can sit there and try to fight it and look around but the best bet is just to turn and look up to the left I found that in my second and third playthrough um, you could actually sit here for a while just going ooh, 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 all this water ooh, ooh. but the reality of it is if you look up right away Ellie comes to your rescue a lot sooner and I should say, shouldn't say rescue because that's not exactly what happens here, but she tries and attempts. And then she kicks that thing and knocks you right in your dome. That's got to feel good. And then all of a sudden, the broken door that you just busted open is somehow fixed again. So, not sure how that works. Kind of bullshit if you ask me. Um, but, it is what it is. And as we float through here, um, we find that uh, Ellie really can't swim. And it looks like she has swallowed... Uh, more than she can handle, which <laughs> I'll just leave that alone. All right, so we pop up, get a little uh, little threat from the uh, guys up on the top here. Turns out to be human, thank God. But at the same time, they're not very friendly. That's right, she's not breathing, dude. You just made it all the way for nothing. Pump, 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 pump it up. Come on, breathe, bitch, breathe. He's like, I don't think you understand, man. I don't think you understand the hell I've been through. Ooh. And with that rifle butt to the head, we will call it good. So that'll go ahead and wrap up The Last of Us Level 10 Bus Depot Walkthrough Part 2, where we got the remaining collectibles, uh, one of the last shift doors, and uh, even got our first trophy. So pretty excited about that, even though it took us, what, 10 levels and multiple hours of play to get there. It was pretty well worth it and uh, felt good when that shit rang off. Bling! All right, well, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, head on over to Facebook, Twitter. Give us a, give us a like, give us a tweet. Uh, you're welcome to comment, vote, subscribe down below as well. And happythumbsgaming.com is available too. For those of you who don't know, there is uh, a new section being headed up by HTG Doug called Trophy Achievement Guides. And we will be walking through textually, which we can seem to get up a little bit faster this way. So um, if you're having a hard time or waiting for the not waiting for the video or not wanting to wait for the video, however, whatever I'm trying to say right here, feel free to go to the website and get that information uh, shortly after the games come out. So, all right, well, that's going to do it. Thanks for tuning in. As always, until next time. So yeah.